Hey there guys, it's Jack, and I'm back with another iOS tutorial. And if you watched my last video, which will be going up in just a few minutes, um, I have yet to upload it. I literally just finished recording it. Maybe, uh, a minute or two ago, literally. Um, <laughs> yeah. I said I was going to do a tutorial on how to get a Super Nintendo emulator. So, right now, um, I'm just going to show you guys how you can go about getting one. So, you do need to be jailbroken for this to happen. I'm so sorry. And to get the actual em the games for the emulator, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to do it on my iOS device, but it's the same exact uh, method on PC. So, let's just jump right into it. So, to get this... Uh, emulator you don't actually have to add any other repos it's on the stock repos and we're just gonna go right on into that search search I was testing if something worked because yeah but so we're gonna have to type in N E S sorry blah, blah, S N E S and you're just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom after you type that, and you're going to type in S-N-E-S-9-X-E-X plus. You will see this one, and you will see this one. The bottom one is from IX Repo, um, because that was how I used to get GPS phone, and I got the GPS phone BIOS from the XLI, that's why that one's there. But, anyways, we're going to get, um... The S N E S nine X E X plus. So you're gonna install it right here, and it shouldn't have you respring or anything. Once you're done installing it, it's just gonna say return to Cydia. You're gonna be brought back to this page. We're now going to the home button. You will then be greeted with this beautiful icon right here. So you're gonna also, if you're doing this on iOS, need iFile. So we're just gonna pull that out and place that right there. Okay. So you're going to need to have iFile. And we're just going to open up uh, Safari. Just open a new page. And you're going to type in cool rom dot com. Okay, guys. So it's the same thing for PC and iOS. Um, God dang it. Cool rom dot com. You, so yeah, it's the same process for um, PC and uh, iOS. You're you're going to with PC you need iExplorer or iFunbox or WinSCP. It doesn't really matter. However, you can connect to your device from your computer. Um, so you're then going to go down here and you're going to go to ROM files and you're going to scroll all the way down here to Super Nintendo. That or if you go up here and you search the game you want. So in my case, I'm going to search Star Fox. So when you just search the game, it's going to take you to this page, and it's going to have all the different things. And right under it, you're going to see um, what it's work, what it uh, can be got for. Um, but for some reason, it thinks I'm looking for the Commodore. So we're just going to go back to the home page, and hopefully I can get this to work. Um, that's, that's weird, um, okay, well, uh, I guess we'll get something else, because I thought Star Fox showed up just when I did that, but whatever, we're gonna type, we're gonna click on Super Nintendo, because we don't even care anymore, um, we're gonna browse by letter, and I want to go to the S, so you're gonna search your game, and I understand I looked stupid there, but I really don't care. And you're going to find whatever game you want. This point really doesn't matter. So since I want Star Fox, I'm going to have to actually probably slow, uh, scroll down here for quite a while. But it it's going to pay off. So right here, this is the one I want. I'm going to open that. Now if you're on PC, when you go to download this, it is going to make you wait for a few minutes few seconds, I think it's 7 seconds before it'll let you download if you're on iOS. You just gotta scroll down here, hit download now. Now it's gonna load up this page. 
And this is why you need iFile. You're going to open an iFile. And it will then take you to this page right here. And you will see right here, I have Super Mario World on here. But you're going to just hit starfox.zip on archiver. So now you're going to see starfox.smc. Copy link. Okay? Then you're going to go back and you're going to go to media. You're going to want to, if you don't already have this folder called ROMs, you're going to want to make that. Because this is where GBA will go. So if you have GPS phone installed or you did at some point, this will be there. You're going to want to edit, add, SNES, um, just call it that. This isn't where it needs to be, but this is a good place for you to keep all your ROMs. You're just going to open up SNES, and then I'm going to delete these other two because I don't need them. And then you're going to paste it right there. So now you're going to actually want to open up SNES 9. Um, you guys spending your time to watch. I do really hope this helped you out. I will probably make a better version of this tutorial in the future when I'm not just trying to rush it. Um, because I do actually have something that just came up that I have to go do. So uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Have a great day. Later.